Well, how about I go to the tavern along with some other people, and then you bring Harmony to me already pre-stabbed, so, and then nobody gets in trouble for it, and you just rush in and you say, Oh no, Harmony was stabbed! We need immediate medical attention! I would yeah, like to bring people's fine. attentions to the Discord chat. <laughs> How many? We have to save the Empress. Or I do. Uh, you were cutting out a lot there, Barry. <laughs> something, we got to Empress something. We gotta save the Emperor, <laughs> or at okay. least I do, that's what he said. I heard it. Yeah, see, the internet go, or it goes through sometimes. Uh, no, he said, uh, how many? We have to our we have to save the Empress. Or at least I do. Well, if we save the General, the General may save the Empress, and then we don't have to overstep our bounds. <laughs> if it is I, then we are not then we would not be overstepping our bounds. <laughs> okay, what what sort of place is this that the Emperor and the um, the men, well, like phys physically, what sort of place is? It? Well, um, I'm only allowed in the inner in the first chamber. That's where most pilgrims make. I mean, it's still a significant place because it's one of the first places the guardians that where she had her visions of the future. So sometimes people like to come, and you know, maybe they 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 they, they can feel the light's presence here. Um, so they come make a pilgrimage. There's a little altar at the at the front entrance. Um, nothing significant. We keep it clean. And, you know, they put their offerings there. But um, what people don't know is that there's an inner chamber, a cave system of a kind. And there's a. I, I don't really know what it looks like. Just from what I've heard, um, only only an emperor is allowed in. I, I think it's uh, something to do with. Um, their blood or something it allows them entrance and only them but from what I know is that there there is in case of emergencies the, whoever's in charge is supposed to carry a vial of, of the empress's blood in order to get in, in in case they need to for some reason but for whatever reason that's not being done so what I'm hearing is the lieutenant's a moron we need the general back so they can do things. So we gotta heal the general. So we're back to showing off curiosity as a healer. Although, Ari, do you have enough pull with anybody to just tell them that you found a healer? Not from Ari, what I saw. I so. He did a pretty good job of making them super suspicious of him the moment we spoke. BT Jack <laughs> suddenly speaks with like a full, half a glass of her fermented milk still in her hand. Yeah, any way did you have to go? It was pretty pathetic. And All when right. we left, Gorm and I left immediately after that. Okay, so everybody go to the tavern. Me and the Saurians will stay here. Hey, we'll actually spar for a little bit. It'll be fun. And then somebody stabs me, and then you guys carry me into the tavern. And we take it from there. I'll do it if it means we can be done with this stupid thing quickly. In fact, they'll just shoot you now. She starts getting her bow together. No, they need to be in the tavern uh, first. Uh, also, so, I prefer a blade because you have more control over how... I have a lot them. of control over this. What are you saying? You want me to have less control? I can do that, too. So, so Gorm can no, shadow dagger into legit. fire. Kill me. I kind of I kind of reach over and push the bow down a little bit. Like, okay. <laughs> I never get to have any fun. Okay, so Gorm, who is standing off to the side, making dagger throwing motions at the fire, casts Shadow Dagger on, on the fire. <laughs> You're just gonna cast Shadow Dagger on Harmony? No, no, on the fire. Oh, okay. I got a 12. Plus 1. Uh, that's a success. Which hits the target number. Okay, so yeah. So... 
just wanted to see what would happen when it hit. <laughs> the fire, it, when it hit, you guys are talking and you're having this intense conversation, and then all of a sudden, the fire goes. It goes black for a moment and then reignites, and there's like this black sort of ash smoke that surrounds the campfire for a minute and then dissipates. <laughs> I look at it for a moment. Like, that what wasn't was me. That? What was that? Gorm, did you do that? That's like super weird. Don't do that again. <laughs> Can we focus? Focus! So anybody have, That's anybody exactly have a that better is. idea than me getting stabbed? Also, um, these acts could be a lot easier to sell as a sparring you know, accident if it wasn't a bow shot, because generally what? you don't spar by shooting bows. <laughs> Like arrows. Yeah. <laughs> One of us could pretend like to be that. sick instead. So, you know, it occurs to me that there might be an easier way to get their attention. Nyla says from the back. Isn't there a priestess here? There is a priestess in town. Perhaps this young lady doesn't know quite as much as she does. Gorm goes to find a stick to stick into the sand. There'll be one. So we ask the uh, so we ask the priestess. What? That would be. Well, I'm, a, I'm an old man. I don't know about these things. I'm past adventures myself. But if I had to pick an authority figure that they might listen to, it would be her. Or we could stab Harmony. I mean, that is another plan. You youngsters enjoy such things. I know BT Tax has been wanting to kill something for a while. As long as she doesn't uh, kill me, I think it'll be fine. I believe talking would be far better, anyways. Oh, yeah, he's face that's He's like, no. <laughs> so, <sounds> like <laughs> Talking's <laughs> bad. <laughs> well, not, not you, Harmony. Yeah, I know, that's why I'm afraid. But... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. You guys are just adventurers, and you probably don't care about the Dominion, and it's... I just... He uh, does. I pointed at... Airy. I, I, I mean, it, it seemed that way when we spoke. I Look, I this is my home, and I care about what happens to the Dominion. This is... My whole life is, is protecting this place and protecting the people who come here. The Emperor... The Empress is an important part of that, and I don't understand why no one's doing anything. I completely understand your concern. That is why we're going to do something. This is... This should not have happened. Family is important. And they know it. Family? So connected. Are you related to her in some way? I would not say related. I think of the Empress's family, you must have been close at some point. So, would we find the priestess in the temple then? Or is it too yeah. late at night? Oh, no, she. She does her due diligence. She'll answer any call at any night. Hi, Jolie. Howdy. My stuff is broke. Who's broke? <laughs> ah, okay, we can keep going then. Who cares about Tyrath? Okay. <laughs> we can keep going. Alright, that window is broke. That would be. Fix it after the break. <laughs> oh, we could. Uh, da, 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 da. We must go talk to the priestess and then yes. decide never to help anyone ever again. We'll go to the priestess and decide 
from there. Let me leave first. I can't be caught here. I don't know what would happen to me. I'm already, well, I can probably tell a little bit of an outsider. I don't want to say the possession that I do have. She kind of like, kind of move, tries to cover more of her, her greenish skin up. I understand. This time I cast the spell. Okay, at the stick I stuck in. You cast what? We're gonna need these magic points, Spazak. What are you doing? That is true. You cast what? Oh, I need to repeat on that. The same one. I I got I got I got a fourteen and six. Okay. Oh, you can make it cost less magic points. You should totally do that. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing that in Imposing Spell. <laughs> okay. Uh, you're, like the fire, the stick turns into, like, a smoky ash. I think it case in a smoky ash for a second. And then it vanishes back into itself. I look over at Gorm. What are you doing?! Really confused. Pro okay. Your practice is really creepy. I wish you'd stop. <laughs> well, my weapons are sort of clean, so. Well, you know, weapons shouldn't have, like, smoky death rolling off of them. That's really super creepy, and you should stop. Uh, so. Would it be better for all of us to go see the priestess or just me, Ari, and curiosity? I think it would be better if just a small amount of you even the guards might get suspicious if you all go into the top they all go into the temple at once. But uh, you know what, with that, I think you guys can figure the rest of this out. I really, really should be going. They're gonna be looking for me. Um thank you. And she gets up and she quickly darts out of the camp. Can I come too? If curious, curiosity, can I come too? No. Uh, if Harmony says it's okay. No, no. not if Harmony says. Harmony that is no fun. He'll never say <laughs> this. Aaron goes off to get another stick. Can you not do that right? Well, this is Aerie's show, so Aerie, yes or no, I'm just coming along. I'll be super, super, super quiet. I just want to watch. I've also never been in a temple before. That's what I'm concerned about. No. What if I promise to keep my hands like this the whole time? No. I mean, I'm going to sneak in if you don't let me go, so I ain't supposed to let me go. So you can sneak in and you won't be associated with us, so it won't be our problem when you uh, break something. I won't break anything! I don't break anything, Nihilus! <laughs> you see, Harmony had kind of a smile on his face, like he was just poking fun at you. <laughs> at fun, fun address, a little bit. Just doesn't really seem to notice. Yep, that's our problem. <laughs> <laughs> let me think about this, Jess. No. Alright, uh, yeah, Niles, can you make sure it just doesn't follow us? Cool, alright, let's do this. Um, uh, yeah, fun. This is not fun, this is the dumbest thing anyone's ever said, ever. Thank you for your input, we'll consider it at a further It's not day. input, it's a fact. <clears throat> I don't care. Yeah. Army's walking your way down. Yeah, Got people to I save. Think have just gets up, she finds a rock, and she throws it into the fire, and she walks off the, uh, Walks off away from everyone else. Gorm's as she, got another as she, stick as in she the screams, sand. Everyone is dumb except for curiosity. <laughs> Thank you for your input. What? We'll put it in with the uh, suggestion box, and we'll deal with it in time. Gorm's got another stick in the sand, and he's making motions <laughs> like he's throwing daggers at it, except there's nothing in his hand. <laughs> We're just gonna come back and be like, where are you getting all these sticks from? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> They're just around. There's, there's sticks. Don't you see them? <laughs> there's one over there. 
And he reaches down into the, the sand and, and, pull, and pulls just like from beneath the sand. There's... It's like, guys, there used to be trees uh, here. Isn't that cool? <laughs> what are trees? <laughs> what are those? <laughs> no, we don't know what trees are. No, not here. There, there are some trees. We, I mean, yeah, there are trees that. Okay. They're called palm. So, Curiosity, Harmony, and Ari, you guys head off into the temple. The rest of you are hanging back. Jace is angrily kicking dirt in, far away from the camp now. All right. Uh, before we go, I, I will go to Jace and just draw a little something on her hand, hand and say, if you sneak in, you write this on the no, floor. She, you try and draw something on her? Okay, then I will draw it in the sand. What, what do you draw? Yeah, a, a symbol from my past. A symbol and that just the. Draw it in the sand. Huh? Yeah, I draw you it just in the draw sand. It in the sand. Yeah, there in front of her and tell her if you sneak in, you write this symbol everywhere you go, okay? Why? <laughs> because you're going to disobey. And if you disobey, I want to make sure that you are safe. Okay, I can deal with that. Because I know her, oh. she's going to disobey. Everyone thinks that I'm dumb and that, like I don't know what I'm doing, but I do. I just like being like this, okay? I'm just this way, but I'm not stupid. I have been on this hunt for a long time and I haven't gotten anyone killed. I haven't done anything dumb. I'm that not dumb. I to I'm really smart. I just think that it's more fun to pretend to be dumb than to actually be arrogant and dumb like other people. That is why I'm giving you this symbol to let me know that you are here, okay? If you disobey, use this symbol, that way I know you can be safe, okay? Okay, I, I can live you. with these terms. Okay, great! That's not only curiosity. I didn't, well, I don't think anyone trusts me, but that's great! Do stay safe, and then I will head... You see, she immediately like pulls out her pad as soon as you're walking away, and she starts drawing the symbol. Okay. In her uh, book. It, it's a symbol that the. Already already like, what's happening? It's a symbol the order used to uh, used to draw as uh, need aid or help. Okay. That way, it's there. Yeah, Gorn's just ignoring all this. Is still yep. with the miming I walk over <laughs> and I walk over and watch her drawing it. Why are you watching me draw things? That's super weird. <laughs> you want me to draw something? <laughs> Look at Ari said I could disobey. He drew me a symbol and everything. Wait, Great. what? Ari didn't say you could disobey. Ari said he knew you were going to disobey. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's what Jess would do. Well, I know exactly who I'm going to do. Gorm is just like muttering to himself. Why is everyone I'm like with suicidal? <laughs> because it's more fun to be suicidal. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the one time you... Harmony was suicidal is when he's trying to rescue Gorm. I take offense at this statement. Thanks, <laughs> 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 <Is> that. <laughs> All right, Anyways, so we're we'll going to the to... temple. Mm-hmm. Uh, we come so... to the to the four known crown temple. She's not actually outside. It's just it's really hard to put her into the building. So we're just going to pretend that that's where she is and move on with our lives. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, so you've come up to the temple doors, and of course they're closed. You see, looks like maybe dim candlelight inside. And it, this building's not a great representation because there's like there's windows here and here yeah. and you know around. It's it's not as homely as this building makes it look. It's fairly well decorated. But the door is closed. What are you guys going to do? wonder the swords and whatnot that just came on over the sound. It's an ad. Oh, I thought Kylar was messing with me and putting battles in my... No, it um, it okay. went to the next video. Okay. 
I will fix it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. It's back now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Arathias, it, it, Air, Airy, Harmony, and was it Curiosity? Who's coming? Airy, Harmony, mm -hmm. and Curiosity. Mm -hmm. Okay. The only reason Harmony's coming is because he's not leaving Curiosity alone with people. Because <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> trust anyone. And Ari will just open the door for him. Or at least try to open the door. Sorry. Okay. You open the door, and you, it creaks open, and you hear an echoey kind of like... Aah. You look in, and it's the building is super empty. Um, there's a little bit of candlelight here and there, but you don't see anyone in the pews or in the altar or the the pulpit or any of that. Is there anyone here? Voice just echoes. Of course she wouldn't be here. Um, Do you walk in, or...? <laughs> yeah, I will walk in. Yeah, right. I'd like to look at your ass and just be like, just don't do anything unless Harry tells us to. <laughs> okay. From what Ari has told him of people, it seems like it's not a good idea to make people look sick. Also, the last time I checked, Ralphie was on my shoulders, not your shoulders. <laughs> yeah, the last time you checked. Uh, if we're wanting an update on Ralphie, he's he's on he is on uh, Harmony's shoulders still, but he's ah, well. he is but he's not asleep. Like he's you can tell he's active and alert and he's looking around. Because he's supervising Harmony's learning of. The contract words. Sure. Yeah. He was on top of my shoulders when that happened. Yeah, but I don't think that's why he was doing anything. <laughs> so you guys walk in. Your footsteps echo. That's pretty quiet in here. You see, and as you as you step forward in there, you see what looks to be like doors on either side of the pulpit that maybe lead to other things. Hello. Is it completely silent? Is it echoey? It's echoey. Like your voices and your footsteps echo. Okay. I like pull my wings up close to myself. I'm like, don't want to accidentally do anything and knock over anything with my wings. <laughs> and yeah, and you both kind of have... Like... <laughs> it's not exactly built for winged people, so you do kind of have to maneuver your wings to be not as obtrusive. She could be at the bar, but she could also be in her study. The priestess is going to be at the bar? Well, the tavern. But that's why Hello? I Hello? 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 I heard voices. I didn't know... Ah, I remember you. You are newcomers. Yes. Is there something wrong? Nothing wrong, per se, but we do have a couple of questions. Questions. Well, I'm happy to answer questions. A little late for them, though, but I guess when inspiration strikes for such things, you can't really forget. Uh, please, have a seat. And she points to one of the, the pews up front in the front row. And as you guys move over there, she sits on, like, kind of like the stairs that lead up to the pulpit. And she, she sits up as straight as she can and crosses her legs and looks at you. Please, what can I tell, help you with? Do you know anything about uh, about the soldier situation here? Oh, yes. The soldiers are making their daily their, their uh, annual supply. Their supply run. Our village needs uh, things to keep us going, obviously. We're kind of out of the way. The real reason, please. What real reason are you referring to? Harry, why are you playing word games? Whatever, like... 
<laughs> Again, with the word games. What, what are you we trying were... to say, young one? We were made aware of the situation here, and that the general has been ill. My young compatriot, curiosity is a healer. We know that if we approach the guards ourselves, they'll never let us in. But if they need help and won't look for it anywhere, and there's no way they can get help, he's here. And we thought that if we could convince you, then you they might listen to you. And we might actually be able to do some good here. I see you've been told much. Who told you these things? That is a confidential informant. I suppose I can uh, come up with my own individual. <sighs> she always did stick her nose in the thing she wasn't supposed to. I mean, if you prefer to just let the general die, I'm fine with playing shadow politics it's games every day of the week. It's not that simple. There's... <sighs> My order are not healers. We do not have... We, we have basic medicines and they will secure, but what ails the general is something of a different nature. It's not a disease. It's not some sort of... Um... It's magical in nature. It is more akin to a curse than an illness. We have not been able to figure out how to remove it. Now, I'm confident that the young lieutenant knows his duty, but in this circumstance, he's rendered a bit flustered. He has the means to perhaps make... Basically, what it has come down to is the two people who are in charge, who could make us a decision for either of these circumstances, are both incapacitated, leaving the third party, who's not capable of making such grandiose decisions, in a difficult position. He's done his best to keep his men from panicking, but I must admit he's come to me quite often in, in making decisions. Now, I've tried to advise him that he should perhaps find a way to do his job. Sure, putting it in a <coughs> way, but yes, something is wrong, and with and I don't think it's a coincidence that the Empress goes missing at the same time that the General falls under some sort of magical curse. I think there is something at work here, and I think it might have been a result of what has happened in recent years to our Emperors. But I'm remember. I'm in a difficult position myself. I am not his over. I am not in charge of him at all. Though he does see me as a sort of authority figure, I cannot make him do what I think is correct. But if your young healer thinks he can do something, I may be able to get you into the general's room without the lieutenant knowing too much or being able to stop it. And he won't countermand an order once I've given it and it's been done. And he won't kill you if I told you to do it. Good. That's really what we needed. <laughs> I prefer not to get killed for trying to help someone. <clears throat> it's a general rule. Well, well, I don't really know how much I can do against a curse. We'll have to find out once we get in there. If... Maybe there's another way. Of course, I would I would appreciate if your young healer is able to help the general. He's a good man, and the Empress will need him in times to come. But really, what needs to be done is the Empress needs to be recovered. She can make the decisions that the lieutenant cannot. But the only way to get to her is through the vial containing her blood. That's kept in the general's person at all times, and it's still there, partly why he's so closely guarded. The lieutenant should have it. He's in charge now. It's he should forbidden. make that decision. It is forbidden, and he won't make. He will not think outside the box in order to adapt to the situation. As far as he's concerned, that vial stays in the general's body, even if he dies. Chain of command is stupid here. It is not easily adapted. No. Okay, well, I don't know how to beat you guys in a fight. Just take out the general, and everyone will run around like. Idiots, apparently. Well, I hope that that's not true. I, I do look think at Harmony this... like, um, why are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> He's just looking at us like, yes, you understand. They have 
they have the vial in cases of emergency to rescue the Empress. For this expressed scenario, and because the general's incapacitated, chain of command for the soldiers now goes to the lieutenant, but apparently the power to go in and rescue the Empress doesn't transfer some for some inexplicable reason. So the lieutenant has the solution in his hands. Well, he could have it in his hands, but he chooses not to because he's a coward. And because there's stupid rules in this empire. No offense, Erethes, Priestess, but seriously, this is ridiculous. Not many outsiders understand our ways, but they have served us for quite some time. Yeah, they're going to get your Empress killed. And if we that is how what it will, then that is what it will be. How are we supposed to... Because you're implying that we should take the vial from the general and go do it ourselves. How are we supposed to do that without getting in trouble with the guards? I'll let or, you Or, uh, I will take if... You in. Uh, go on. My concern is... If we attempt to rescue the Empress and something goes wrong, or she's already dead, mm -hmm. the Lieutenant will merely blame us for it. He will blame we have me. other things that we need to do. I understand. I will make sure that any blame to be had is my own. Honestly, this is something that I... Perhaps I should thank your confidential informant for her initiative. It is something I should have done, dealt with it for a while, but honestly, I've had my own issues, and so I have to thank my people as well. And I also have faith in the light that things will f work out for the best. But now that I see an opportunity in front of me, I'm not going to let it pass up. My, uh, what I can get you is an audience with the general without the lieutenant's awareness. That should be enough for you to either kill the general or find the vial. After that, it, it'll be up to you to find a way into the temple once you go into the altar cave and use the vial to enter through. The guards will not follow you. It is strictly forbidden. Well, I thanks to your empress. I'm assuming you want to do this. Yes. I want to make sure she's safe. So, as far as what's inside this altar place, dangerous normally, not dangerous? Because I know some, there was something about being worthy. Ah, we won't yeah. know if we're, that, that we're not worthy of being emperor since we're not, so how is that rescue supposed to work? Well, I know as much as I'm allowed to. The trials are meant for the Empress. They should not pose danger to you, as it will be obvious you are not her. The, uh, it merely should be a stroll in a, a stroll through the cave system for you. You should see nothing of interest whatsoever. She, however, will face consequences. It might be more difficult to locate her. You don't seem to quite believe me. No, that was that was my that was my meta game face. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> that was my meta game face. Harmony believes it because like I guess because you use blood and it must be able to tell who's worthy or not and actually test the person who's supposed to. <clears throat> yes, this is precisely how it works. As I said, though. I have never been through it myself. I'm not really allowed to, but once a year, and that is only for sort of maintenance purposes. I have not seen anything in the time that I have spent. With. Unless some evil magic has hijacked the whole process, and that's why we haven't seen the princess. Sorry, Empress. And of course, I go to dangerous places. All right, so we're doing this, but we got to convince everybody else to do it. Harry, that's that's going to be up to you. The rest of the party. Well, I think. We're going to want everybody on board in case there's something there that's endangering the Empress, don't you? Yes, I believe we'll need them. Alright, I'll leave the convincing of please save the Empress to you then. <laughs> if you'd like, I have a question. Because... Yes, of course. If the guards won't follow us in because it's against all the Dominion rules and honor and whatnot to go in. Why is Eri going to go in? 
doesn't his obligations require him also not to interfere? Did you not catch the part about they're all only supposed to go in to rescue the Empress, but they're all too cowardly to do it? it has so once because we have the vial of blood, we're the ones going on the rescue mission. So Ares, the one going on the rescue mission, they can't even actually follow us once well, we get past that point. That's what is your name, son? Who, me? Him or me? No, you actually all of you. Let's just let's let's get all of that out of the way. I am curiosity. Harmony. Since it is you, and he glares right at Harmony and curiosity, it's, it's an eye of, er, a look of don't you tell. Since it's you, Priestess. Zerus. Zerus Duhart. Duhart. I think I've heard. Anyway, Harmony, you are not quite correct. Yes, in emergencies, someone is supposed to go into that cave, but that someone was supposed to be the general, alone, no guards, strictly forbidden. But to answer your question, Curiosity, my time as the priestess, I've learned that sometimes the light is okay with us bending the rules, if in the spirit we're trying to help others. In this case, I think bending <coughs> the rules a bit might be necessary. Me and Curious know about bending rules. Looks at him like, you know what we did. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> it's the spirit of the law, not the written rule of the law. Exactly. <laughs> Curious is on board with that logic. The <laughs> bags of stories. Of course. Of course. Too hot. Too hot familiar name. I wonder why. I feel like I've heard it before. I'll remember it at some point. It's not important. Anyway, yes, this is a bit more nuanced and perhaps a little bit... It's why Laura Lane, sorry, the confidential informant, must have been quite uh, nervous when she spoke to you. But then again, her family has a history of doing what is right, not exactly what the rules are. Completely understand. Well, very well. If we're going to do this, we should probably do it now. The lieutenant, I believe, is uh, asleep with his men. He will not be watching over the guard. The general and Laura Lane will probably be hiding in her room, so we won't have to worry about any of those things. Cool, so heal the general or get the vial and then get the rest of the party. Excellent. I do hope, young Curiosity, that you can do something for him. I've tried all my best, but honestly, my talents lie more in the prediction of the future and trying to discern what the light's will is for us. It is not really in healing or curse banishing. Who could you predict our future? <laughs> Curiosity, this is not the time for that. Are we going to be able to rescue the Empress? Hmm. Well, looking at the uh, three of you and the determination of your uh, Asimov friend here, I think you stand a pretty good shot. I also got to look at your friends. They seem quite capable. Ooh, that doesn't really seem like uh, fortune telling. That just seems like... You're asking. We got we to gotta go. Okay, never <laughs> mind. Every second we waste, if the Empress's life is in danger, potentially fatal. So, let's do this. Um... Harry, to save time, do yes, you want I'm to a... go with back to um, the party to rally the troops, as it were? That's well, what I figured we were doing. Excellent. All right, see you soon. All right, light be with you. Light and with you. Harry will give a traditional imperial bow. Harry, as you leave the temple, make a perception check. Hey, it's a 3d6 because I have. All right, we're gonna kill the imp, bonuses. everybody. Kill him the imp. It's got <laughs> happening. Spot the imp. <clears throat> three ones, three ones, three ones. No, it's not three ones. Can I give myself oh. inspiration? <laughs> uh, Harmony's gonna be like, Rafi, can you go with him? 
That way, if we end up in trouble, Curiosity can just like go into your body and tell the others we're in trouble. Uh, Ruffy can't the cat say. You can't just tell the others that we're in trouble. You, you can write it in the sand. You can do something. You're basically in control of his body, right? He puts out his claws, like he's gonna, like he's like fake scratching something in the air. I can scratch people to get their attention, apparently. <laughs> All right, Ruffy. Until until we are back in their presence, go ahead and let me know. If he glares at you, Harmony, and he glares with curiosity, and he sort of begrudgingly jumps onto Aerie's shoulders. I know it's not as comfortable and it's a little higher up, but. But if you want to be useful, Rafi, and help out everybody. Ari will lower his hood down yeah. so that uh, Rafi can actually have a little little uh, saddle there. Yeah. Turns his head up. Okay. Like he's beneath him to be in your hood. <laughs> I'm just going to let him stand in my hood or, you know, peer no, over my head, but okay. No, it's beneath him. He sits on your shoulder. And he stares up at this guy. What did you roll choice. for your perception? Can I roll advantage? Because I'm inspired? Because I'm inspiring? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, it's an eight. Okay. Um, it was really hard to spot. As you leave the tavern, or as you leave the, the temple... There's a giant form of the symbol you show just right in front of the doorway as you walk out in the sand. <laughs> I figured she would do such. And you hear, you're not really sure where, or, or, or from where from, but you hear a... <laughs> and then scampering. Come on, just We're rallying the troops. We have work to do. Yay, We're going to fun! stop. <laughs> and actually, as she says that, Curiosity Army, you also hear that shout from somewhere outside. <laughs> and I will head back to the party. I think that's my token. Is that another one of your friends? Uh, acquaintance, really. Uh, one of the Saurians that we've been traveling with the past couple of days. like a very interesting bunch, I guess. Oh, well, let's get going. I, oh, I appreciate you being careful with your, um, your wings, but it's really not quite necessary to keep them that tightly together, young, young sir, young curiosity. Ah, that's good. And then I, like, immediately <laughs> relax my wings and stretch them out. <laughs> just, just be careful of the candles. That's all I ask. This way. And she leads you out into in the, the inner flame tavern. Woo, going to the tavern I didn't want to go to. Yeah! <laughs> Wait, is Eagle's character in a tavern now? Where is Eagle? What is she no. doing? Oh. No, she's not there. Oh. Uh, she's what? Is oh, it with no, oh, Eagles managed to stay out of m most taverns this campaign. <laughs> it's, it's pretty impressive. She's, she's doing something mm -hmm. else. So you guys head to the Inner Flame, um, and as you walk in, uh, you don't see Laura Lane. She's not there. Um, you see, it's like dimly lit. There's a couple of candles. Oh, uh, there's no one behind the counter. Um. You see one Domini guard is sitting in a chair, just kind of nodded off. Um, and you don't, the stairs look clear, um, but as you walk in, um, Zelaine, she puts her fingers in her mouth and just make, you know, encourages you to be quiet. There's some guys upstairs, just follow me. And she leads you up the stairs. And you quietly kind of creak up. And then, um, as you, you go up, and then there's immediately a hallway, and as you look down this hallway, you see four Domini soldiers lining each of the doorways. And as soon as they see you, they stand up straighter, and they look towards you. And Zaylin puts a hand up. She says, 
I'm here to check on the general. These are my friends. They're going to help me see if we can maybe help him. Clean, make sure that he's comfortable while we figure out what's going on. Kind of relax and they nod. She nods at the back. You guys walk all the way to the end of the hallway and into the last door on the right. And um, she opens it. I let you, the two of you, in. There's a, another guard sitting at the foot of the bed, and he seems to have been like dozing. But then, as soon as he he sees you guys enter, he gets up and starts drawing his weapon. And Zaylin's like, peace. It's fine. These are friends. It's just only me. Ah. Ah. Right. Uh, sorry. I think I was dreaming. You here to check up on the general again? Yes. My friends and I think we might have a solution this time, but no promises. We've said that before. Yeah, no, do you, uh, do you, do you need me here? Do you need space? If you would wait outside the door, that would be excellent. Right. Uh, I think I need to get something to drink anyway. You know, maybe something that'll keep me up. You let me know if you need anything. Of course we will. He nods at each of you and then leaves. She closes the door behind them. Right, well, we have a few minutes before he gets suspicious. So, whatever you're going to do, we can go ahead and do it now. How many? Over here. And she leads you to the other side of the bed while Curiosity is looking them over. And she quickly um, kind of rifles through his things that are on him. And she pulls a, a small uh, vial. It looks kind of like a, like a small test tube and it has just some red liquid inside of it. She hands it to you. I don't think I need to tell you that you should be very, very careful with this. Don't lose it. <coughs> there is, there is no other bird, any more of this. Just so you know. You know, maybe they should, you know, keep in a couple separate locations. That's, that seems vital, but what about it? Well, part of the... Part of our way of life is accepting challenge. That difficulties will happen, and you need to adapt to those difficulties. But there are cases when nothing can happen, and in which case you're on your own. Uh, or, you can, or you can foresee the complications and plan ahead for them. We're seeing and planning Especially with your very different things. Well, this seems to be a fairly foolhardy decision to have such an important item in one location. But never mind. Just I'm trying to concentrate. This is very distracting. <laughs> Alright. Uh, curiosity. Give me... Uh... Well, you tell me. What are you trying to do? Uh, well, first, I'm just trying to generally observe him and get a sense for if anything is wrong. Obviously, probably something is wrong. <laughs> to get a sense for what nothing is wrong. He's that just might sleeping. Be. It's all a lie. He's just sleeping. <laughs> like, he's so lazy at his job. He looks like he's there's like going in, so he's weird like, I'm magical so Ill. <laughs> symptoms. It's just a sleeping like, curse. That's all. Like, if I lift open his eyelids, are his eyes like glowing, or are they like filled with black liquid of doom, or like? Or is, he is he responsive? Is he like? Is he does he have your hand? Is like, his like, like, is breathing is labored? Is it like slow? Like he's asleep? Is he like have a fever, etc., etc.? Etc. Etc. Okay. Is his skin glowing rainbow colors? <laughs> I feel like that'd be pretty obvious. I don't think you need to roll a perception check for that one. Yes, he has turned into a complete rainbow. It's very bizarre. <laughs> uh, the curse of many colors. <laughs> yes. It's a rare disease on, on, on Quidditch. Uh, give me... Give me a searching... Perception searching. And what we'll do is you can also add your natural lore or healing bonus. You only pick one, but you can add one of them. If you have them. Oh, I rolled it in uh, roll 20. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at my sheet. For the roll my bonuses. 
But I can't see what I got because the stupid total thing is all weird. Oh wait. Okay, I can't fix it. that anymore, guys. <laughs> 14. <laughs> okay, I got 15. I got a 15. Okay. 15. Um. So you do a, you do a fair bit of you know checking and, and testing, and you can tell it's definitely not physical. There doesn't seem to be any sort of his his eyes seem to be normal. He he he's breathing is normal, although he is you know, in a deep sort of slumber. Um, his body looks a little a little weakened, but you can kind of assume that maybe that's, you know, three days of being in a kind of a coma. Um, he's definitely an older Azamar. Seems to be one of the older ones you've ever seen. Um, but he doesn't look weak in any, in, in, in like a he seems well built, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, but as you check him for fever, check him for anything strange, just from what you know of Azamar physiology, there doesn't seem to be anything really physically wrong with him. Well, I guess I'm gonna try to use the cure spell. Here's all magically magic stuff. Well, magically well magic it does stuff. say, it says you touch a subject and cure one disease afflicting mm -hmm. them. But it says at the GM's discretion, curing certain exotic, unusual, or magical diseases may have a higher target number. Or magical ah, so it cost. will cure magical so diseases. if it cures magical diseases. Okay, <coughs> okay uh, then yes, give me a roll. Nah, sixes, nah, sixes, nah, sixes. Triple six. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I got a seven. <laughs> plus seven, so I got a fourteen total. Fourteen total. That might not be high enough. <laughs> Better than... Maybe, maybe not. Uh, uh, that's not even... That's not even challenging on an advanced test, so I'm gonna say no. <laughs> so well, as you, I as got you, some more magic points. Can I try the spell again? <laughs> you, of course, you can try it again as many times as you like. It seems worth wasting all our magic points on. It's really <laughs> if we succeed at this step, if we succeed at this step, it's gonna make other steps way easier. Although now I have the blood vial in my pocket, which might seem kind of suspicious. So I make sure I paid attention. Like Wrong. I like. Make sure I know in my head, like, where she got it from, so I can go oh, back no. the Oh, no! I'm the worst healer in this <laughs> You rolled triple ones, didn't you? Uh-huh. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, yeah. Is you make it worse? <laughs> you... Okay, this, okay. You killed him. Well, that's really bad, so <laughs> I'm gonna say, okay, so this is what happens. Harmony. As you're watching Curiosity try and do his thing, he closes his eyes, very familiar to you, and puts his hands kind of hovering over the general, and, and as he does, there's some familiar warm, glowing energy pulses from him and into the general's body. And he kind of looks up, he looks around, kind of looks at the general, see if anything's changed. And you see him, and he, he, he seem, say something under his breath about, oh, maybe I'll try again. And he closes his eyes, and then this time nothing happens. No, he, there's no glowing energy. He's just sitting there closing, and you see him squinting and like really concentrating. But the more he squints, the, it seems like the less happens. And you and the priest just, just awkwardly stare at each other as Harmony's just. Squinting really hard above this general's body, and no magic is happening. And her curiosity, for some reason, after you cast your spell the first time, something seems to be interfering with your ability to even just do magic over the general, and you, you can't quite grasp the, what you need in order to cast your healing spells. Well, it's only one conclusion. <laughs> I turn and I look at Harmony 
He said, Oh, it seems like there's a very strange and powerful magical curse on him, and after I used one spell, the curse, like, adapted or something, and then now I can't even use magic. This is really bad. <laughs> That's the worst way you could have said that! Yeah, oh, just, like, looking at you like... I don't think that's usually how these things work, but... Like, if it had adapted, it would have done something to you while you were casting it the first time. Like, he's just like... He's like in his head, just like... Well, that's why I had a plan B. <laughs> you can't metagame. How do you know that's not... Why would you not believe me? <laughs> Because I've been around a bunch no of seekers and things, Clearly, and I'm also, I'm, I'm also traded here. arcane lore. I'm also traded arcane lore. Well, I mean, <laughs> you should make a check. <laughs> sure. Harmony, make an arcane lore check. I want to on that sixes, and it's going to be totally. Find out that he's really just—he's just really bad at it. <laughs> okay, which die are you rolling? Okay. I mean, the dice says he's really bad at it. <laughs> yes, but the question is: Does Harmony notice Twelve, that he's bad? Uh, that's a 13. Plus 5, yeah. Plus 5 stunt day. So. Harmony, that's not how magic works. <laughs> you think maybe, it, it may be there's something going on in Curiosity that's not letting him do his magic, but you, you didn't see anything, like the body, the general's body didn't react in any way that would tell you some sort of magic is interfering. Maybe Curiosity's just lost his mojo for a different reason. Yes, but Kiosk, that's that's you you know as well as I do that that's not how that works. You you don't know anything you're... about curses. How do you know that's not what happened? Yes. Okay, okay. If it was adapting to you, why didn't it stop you while you're trying to heal him the first time? I don't think this is an argument. Not how the curse worth works. Having. You didn't you have... say that time rewound and weird stuff happened? Yeah, we don't know how these things happen. Nothing. You're just you're thinking about it too much now. It's fine. It didn't work. We, we have really, other things that I, we can I'm do. I'm sorry to interrupt, but that guard will return, and he will be suspicious if we haven't done anything. And besides, as you've already pointed out several times, how many of the Empress's life is in danger? We should be. Okay, well, at least I can try to cure some of this general sickness he has from laying in bed for three days. Then I'll just like use the healing hands and, trip <laughs> and try to heal it that way. <laughs> it will be easier. It will just heal some physical malady. Oh man, I got That's six crazy. five six. What is wrong? Why can that have been? <laughs> because I want to go on an yep. adventure, and the dice want to go on the adventure too. Uh, I don't want to go on the adventure. I want to <laughs> revive the general so the general can go on the adventure. Instead. That would have been a twenty-four. But anywho, he recovers sixteen <laughs> health hit points. No. Why? Why, Kyra? It's why? my game, Kylar. <laughs> it's my game. We're gonna do what I want. Yeah, and when you do that, you're gonna be like, "See, magic's not stopped." <laughs> <laughs> you see, as you cast your healing spell, you see that some of the muscle atrophy that's happened to the general and some of his the sunken eyes, the sort of malnutrition, has seemed to kind of go away, and he seems to be a little bit more robust. Than he was. All right. Well, thank you, but we really should go now. And as she says this, the the guard knocks on the door. Uh, sorry to bother you, Paristas, but uh, that's about all the time I can let you have alone with them. Kind of need you to come out now. We should. And she leads you towards the door and opens it. Yes, we're just about done. Unfortunately, our, our new medicine didn't really help. But it did seem as though he's, he'll make a better recovery. A sooner, perhaps. Okay, whatever you say. Uh, just like, you know, got my uh, orders and I need you to kind of leave. Of course, we're doing that right away. I bet your orders also say not to sleep either. Yeah, no, yeah. It's kind of like a like a like, like a buddy soldier like joke kind of. <laughs> yeah. It's like a well, stay awake. Yeah. Harder than it looks. Oh, I know. He like he takes up his whatever he's got in his glass and kind of 
toasts toast you as he sits back down in the chair and sips it, sips it. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so I really want to hear what rousing speech Erethaeus has for the rest of the crew, but let's save that till after the break. <laughs> All right. And with that stream, go ahead and give us like 10 minutes or so. Go ahead and get up, stretch our legs and whatnot. Uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> 